Hello, welcome back. Today we're gonna to go over how you can go about analyzing your data and creating reports in the reports tab on Qualtrics. Now, in our last video, we went over the results tab and what you could do in that results tab. And if you haven't watched it up here, please feel free to pause this one, go back, take a look at it, as I believe the information will be really helpful, especially when you're building your own reports in the reports tab. But something I mentioned is that the results tab usually automatically sets a sort of template for you to work with, while with the reports tab, it's a lot more customizable. So for example, in the results tab, when you first hop in, an automatic template will be created for you with the widgets Qualtrics thinks will be best for you. Now, you can create a brand new page and then build your own report from scratch, but you do have some sort of limited functionality there where you still have to fit within the guidelines of what Qualtrics suggests. But in the reports tab, you pretty much have free reign to create the reports you want to create and build things in the ways you want to. So now we're gonna go over how you're gonna go about creating the report itself and what you should keep in mind when doing so. So I'm gonna create this report. What I can do is if I want to create a report from an existing one, I can import this from one of my results in here. Well, it looks like I don't have any that are saved. All right, well, that's fine. Yeah, usually what I want to do is import this guy from one of my saved reports, but I don't have that, so it just doesn't show me anything to import from. But let's create a report. And then in here, as you can see, you can specify things like margins, you can insert widgets, you can insert questions, survey data directly, things like that so that you can customize things to be exactly the way you want it to be. So for example, let's say I want to highlight question one specifically. So I can insert this question and it automatically sets it to a table, but then what I can do instead is change the visualization in here. So instead of a table, maybe I might want it as a word cloud. And then it changes it in here. Or I might want to add a specific filter in here. I might want to show the response count. or I might want to add another field in here to the same widget, just to the right of it. So like I can see an exchange's comment, an exchange's name for the first question, and her comment attached to it right next to it. So with this, you have a lot more room to play with things and sort of configure it in the way you want. So for example, if I were building this report, what I'd do would be I'd make something which is full response. Oops, I missed an S there. Response here. Then I might add Q3, move this, drag and drop it in here. So I can see their full response. Then I can add little sections under it if I want an at a glance analysis of the data or breakdown of what the data is saying. So I'm gonna first add a divider in here so that I can separate the full response from something beneath it. Then I can add question two. Move that under the divider. I can see the breakdown just as I saw in the results tab. And then I can add the response count to the top left. I can break out by how they plan on how long they plan on working. I can filter this. Okay, I'm not gonna break that out. And then let's see. Ah, and I can show the data values in here. I can switch it to a horizontal bar if I want to. If I like it in the vertical format and things like that. And then I can also add another divider. And then what I can do in here is add Q3 and then make this guy a word cloud. So similar to what I did in the results tab, I can build the exact same report in the reports tab, 
but I have a lot more functionality here as it relates to customization. I can customize the margins, what data can be mushed together with which data, like in the full response here. I can show the number of responses for specific questions. I can create the word cloud like I did in the results tab and just do a lot more in here. So if you do have a lot of experience or want your report built a specific way, I highly recommend using the reports tab as it will allow you to build your report in the way you want to. While if you just want a sort of templated report where Qualtrics restrictions quote unquote are good enough and you don't need any sort of customization in there, then the results tab might be what you'd opt for instead. Now, once again, to recap, the reports tab is where you go to build custom reports from scratch. So in here, you have a lot more customization on the type of data you can show, how you can mush the data together and combine different things in certain ways, how you can display widgets and things like that. While in the results tab, this is going to fit according to the Qualtrics templates and what Qualtrics suggests you use. With all that being said, I hope that explains things and clarifies the difference between the two and how you can use them to sort of display and analyze your data. If you guys have any additional questions or concerns as it relates to specific modes and methods of analysis, please feel free to reach out in the comment section below. Always happy to clarify anything or go over anything further. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again soon in the next video. Take care.